Hello everyone, welcome back. In this presentation, we will talk about the like keyword in SQL. Let's directly step into the topic of the day, the like keyword in SQL. Now I'm going to ask you a question. What DML command we use in order to retrieve the records? Obviously, it's select. If we want to specify some conditions, what keyword we will use? Where, right? So we will use where keyword with select so that we can retrieve the results based on the condition. Now I am going to introduce another keyword that can be used along with where to improve the performance. Let's see that now. So what we are going to do is, we are going to introduce this like keyword which is used along with where clause. We know what is the use of where. It filters the record based on the conditions. So we are going to increase the power of where by using the keyword like. Also, this like is going to search for a specific pattern in a column. We know basically a table is of rows and columns. And we know we use where by specifying the column, right? Where city is equal to Bangalore, where age is greater than 18. So what we are going to do now here is, we are going to use the where clause. Also, we are going to use the column. Instead of that condition, we are going to use the keyword like so that we are going to retrieve the records by searching a specific pattern in the column. So how to do this? We have two wildcards for doing this. The wildcards are percentage and underscore. We can use both percentage and underscore or we can use either percentage or underscore in our search query. Let's see the syntax now. The syntax is select column 1, comma, column 2, comma, column 3 up to column n from table name where column some condition we will specify. But what we are going to do here is where column like some pattern we are going to specify. Let's see an example. Select star from table name. Here the table name is student and we are listing all the columns. So we are retrieving all the columns. Select star or asterisk from student where name like in single quotes a percentage. So what we are doing here is we are going to retrieve the records from this table student which is matching the condition. The condition here is the name column which contains the value that is starting with A. So what we are performing? Pattern matching, right? So what are all the different pattern matching mechanisms that are available? Let's see that now. We can use like single quotes A percentage single quotes. We can use like percentage A. We can use percentage or percentage underscore R percentage A underscore percentage A double underscore percentage A percentage O. Remember, the pattern matching what we are mentioning should be enclosed in single quotes. I know things will be difficult at this moment. Let's see that elaborately now. So we are having different patterns here in the left hand side and the explanation in the right hand side. Firstly, let's see like single quote C percentage. What do we mean by this? When we use like this, it means we are going to find any values in the column that starts with C. Because what character we have given? C. So we are going to find any values in the column that starts with C. In case we want to match the pattern that ends with C. So instead of C percentage, just use percentage C in single quotes. So what do we mean by this? It means we are going to find any values in the column that ends with C. If we use percentage AI percentage. So what do we mean by this? It means we are going to find a specific pattern AI in that column. So this is going to find any values in the column that contain AI in any place. Even it may be in the starting or it may be in the ending. If we use like this, underscore C percentage, what do we mean by this? Means we are going to find any values in the column that has C in the second position. Because first position may be anything and we are specific about the second position, it should be C. And the rest may be anything. So what we are doing here? We are going to find any values in that column that has the second character C. If we use like this, C underscore percentage. It means we are going to find any values in the column that starts with C because this is what the condition is. It should start with C and we are specifying an underscore here. It means the length of the value that is present in that column should be at least two characters. Can you see here? One, two. And the first character should be starting with C. And the minimum length that particular column should contain will be 2. Now if we use C double dash, it means it should start with C and the minimum length of that particular value should be 3. 
Now, if we use like this, n percentage O, it means the value in that column should start with n and ends with O. Suppose we are going to find any values in the column that starts with n and end with O, then we may go for this approach. I hope things are clear to you. In order to make things even more clearer, we will see some examples. Example number one. Let's bring in the same employee table. Now the query that I am supplying is select all columns star or asterisk from employee where city like in single quotes and percentage. I request you to pause this video for a while and think about the answer. I hope you are done. The result for this query will be only one row. So we are going to retrieve all columns and we are filtering city like and percentage. It means in the city column, so we are going to focus only on the city column that starts with N, right? So which city is starting with N? In this list, only New Delhi is starting with N and that's why we are getting this result. I hope things are clear to you. Let's see another example, the same employee table, but the query is different here. Select asterisk from employee where city like in single quotes percentage I. What do we mean by this? It means it may be starting with any character. We are not bothered about that. But the ending character should be I. Right? So we are going to retrieve all the columns from employee table where the name of the city is ending with the character I. So what will be the output for this query? The output for this query will be 4 rows, 101, 103, 106 and 107 because the city names are ending with I. New Delhi, Chennai, Chennai, Ranchi are ending with I and that's why we are getting 4 rows. We will see another example, the same employee table but a different query. Select star or asterisk from employee where city like in single quotes percentage or percentage. What do we mean by this? We are going to look for a specific pattern or it may be in any position, maybe in the starting or even in the ending. So what is the condition we are matching? OR, right? We are checking for this specific pattern OR in the city. Just pause this video for a while and think about the right answer. I hope you are done. The answer for this query is going to be only Bangalore is having OR in it and that's why we are getting the records pertaining to city Bangalore. Let's see the last example. The same employee table but a different query. Select asterisk from employee where city like in single quotes A percentage D. I request you to pause this video for a while and think about the right answer. The pattern matching what we are doing here is the string should start with A and should end with D. So the only city that is matching this criteria is Ahmedabad and that's why we are getting the result set only with one row where the city is Ahmedabad. Before we sign out, let's see the homework question. In order to make things easy, I'm bringing in the same employee table and the homework question is apply the following pattern and guess the result. Now on which column we are required to apply? Apply this pattern on name column. It means name that starts with A, name that ends with A and so on and so forth. Just try this for improving your knowledge. I hope the session is informative and thank you for watching.